Right, everyone, Weapon Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video showing you how to secure guns to a display. Um, the background to this video is, um, or the backstory anyway, is I've noticed a lot in the press and the papers, the newspapers, and the news and all that that um, there seems to be something going on that when people get raided, I've noticed there's a lot of mention in the articles about the police confiscating weapons because they was potentially easily accessible to the public or could easily get into the hands of criminals. So that's made me think even though you don't need to do this it may be a good idea to lock your guns to the wall. So what I'm going to do now is show you a very easy and cheap method to do that if you do a similar thing to me which is your guns on hooks on a wooden board basically but you can still use this method other ways um, you know if you do it in a different way I'll, this should still be able to help you and yeah right, I'll show you how to do that now right I've moved the camera in a little bit closer to show you some of the locks I've added so what this is it's so that these guns can't be taken down by anyone who comes in this room basically I have had an issue once where I had a workman come into my room and without even speaking to me went straight over to a, a gun, happened to be a revolver took it off the wall and just started clicking it and at that point you know I realised how stupid people could be and um, you know and that potentially these guns do need knocking up and at that point I, I used to um, just screw them to the wall but what I've done now is added basically eye hooks and small padlocks to all these guns. Now, the way I've got it, this isn't the, you know, this is no Fort Knox or anything. But, it does stop someone picking them up if they're in here. Which is what you want really. You can go a lot more upscale. But basically how this is done is, for each trigger guard of these guns, is a padlock connect to an eye hook something like this so you can get large ones smaller ones and then you know some even smaller ones and I would assume you should be able to get these if you want really good ones you should you could probably get ones that are either solid because these are bent round or even welded those you connect to the wall just underneath the, the trigger guards and then you just add a chain basically so this is a small chain with welded joints and the chain is for where some of the trigger guards are off the wall you can't quite get the padlock around it so you use a small section of chain with a bigger eye eye hook thing like this you can just put it straight through padlock it on or well, the ones I use I open them put the I open them up put the chain on shut them back up feed it through the trigger guard padlocks you can get hundreds of padlocks you know you can get decent sized ones and even these little ones but you can get packs of these the ones I've got on here I bought for, it was packs of 12 and they were something like £3.50 and then what you want to do is once they're actually padlocked on I'll show you one of the the methods, which is the best one, that's a good one you can see easily yeah this one so I've got my keys here they're all numbered so that's number 9 so you just look on your keys find your number 9 there's the gun straight off and you can see the eyelet there put your gun on and the guns are held on by like they're described as cup hooks they're basically all straight cup hooks they're like an l-shaped hook which i'll show you now so if you ever wanted to do this method you basically just screw a this is a seven by four foot piece of hardwood ply 
screw that onto the wall you want quite a few heavy duty bolts this has got 16 4 inch bolts in it and more and to actually put the guns on I use these uh, they're described as cup hooks that's a slightly bent one and then for barrels and you can open them and if they're too long you can straighten them and then rebend them stuff like that and if you want to so I don't bother because a lot of my guns I can't actually sell anymore so it doesn't really matter um, but if you don't want your guns damaged you can cover the hooks in tape or you can cover the hooks in a, a heat shrink plastic and that will protect your guns but yeah if you want a good quick cheap method for securing guns to a display this is it um, yeah I think this is a very good method definitely stops people being able to pick them up most people will just see the power lock and know that they can't pick it up anyway and it does secure them to the wall this is definitely good enough if any police came into the place where you display your weapons they cannot say that these are easily accessible to anyone because they're not um, I'd recommend probably doing everything I will eventually do everything on my board but the crossbows have done and I think the whole process for me for securing them to the wall cost me less than 15 quid I think for the chain 24 padlocks and the eyelets the eye hooks yeah barely anything so I think it's worth doing personally yeah so there you go quick and easy way to fix any guns to the wall and then no one can say that they're not secure every gun pretty much anything with a trigger up there now is secured and I will secure the rest at one point even though they don't need to be and then everything else I'm going to start locking up now so yeah let me know what you think I'll tell you what I will do as well at a later date I'm going to make some homemade trigger locks if you want to see those uh, and they'll be easier and cheaper they'll be easy to make and cheaper to buy the materials and buy an actual trigger lock Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you ever wanted to support this channel you can, there's various methods in the description and at the end of the video there'll be a bit that mentions it. My channel has been completely demonetized for around about 8 years, so yeah. Alright, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, see you later.